Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Robin. It is such a beautiful day today and I'm outside and I hope you get a chance to enjoy beautiful weather this weekend. I wanted to see if you could guess where I am. I'm going to pan around here. There's some trees, lots of rock. And I don't know, you may have been to this place if you live Anywhere around here, you've been here. Can you guess where I am? If you guessed Stone Mountain, you're right. Our Bible story last week, if you remember, was when Jesus appeared to the disciples. And this week, he appears to them again, and he tells them to go on the top of a mountain. So that's why I decided to come to a, the top of a mountain. So let's listen as Miss Julie reads our story. Hey kids, I'm back. It's great to be with you again. So, got a great story for you from the Bible. This one is com comes to us from Matthew and from Acts. We hear this one. Um, after Jesus had died on the cross and was raised from the dead, he spent a period of about of 40 days on earth with his disciples, teaching them about the kingdom of God. Let's think about that number 40 for a while. 40 is a long time. We think of time a lot of times in terms of months, and a month 40 is more than a month. It can go anywhere from 28 to 31 days. So this was longer than a month that Jesus spent with his disciples, teaching them about the kingdom of God and what he needed them to be prepared for and ready to do once he was no longer with them. So at the end of those 40 days, he told his disciples to meet him on a mountain in Galilee. And on this mountain, the disciples worshipped him and they praised him. And Jesus continued to give them more instruction about who he is and what had happened and what he needed them to do once he was no longer with them. During this time that he was speaking to them, he said to them, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Let's pause here for a minute. Authority. It's a big word. That's a big word for big people. It's a big word for medium people. And it's a big word for little people. So what does authority mean? Authority means that somebody has the power, the ability to influence other people's thoughts, behaviors, and opinions. Because of their position, because of who they are, they have that power. God had been... Or, Jesus had been given the power to teach the disciples, to teach us, because it was given to him in heaven and on earth, because he is God. He has that power, that authority in our lives and in the lives of the disciples. And so because, with this authority, he told the disciples, he said, go. This instruction was not just for the disciples, it was for everyone who follows Jesus. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Make disciples of people from every nation. So Jesus told the disciples and us to go. Jesus also told his disciples to baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and to teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. Then Jesus said, Remember, I am always with you even until the end of the age. Jesus told them then to go and to wait in the city of Jerusalem until he kept his promise of the Holy Spirit. He had said to baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But they were still waiting to learn who this Holy Spirit is and how this power would be given to them. And so they were sent to Jerusalem to wait until God kept his promise of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said to them, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come on you. You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, and in all Samaria and to the ends of the earth. 
this promise that Jesus is giving to the disciples is true for us as well. After Jesus said these things, he went up into heaven. The disciples watched Jesus until a cloud hid him from their sight. All of a sudden, two angels appeared where Jesus had been. They were wearing white clothes, and the angels asked the men, Men of Galilee, why do you stand there looking up into heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken from you up into heaven, into the clouds, he will come again. He will return in the same way that you have seen him go into heaven. What an amazing promise that Jesus is coming back. Jesus left earth and he returned to heaven, but he did not leave us alone. Isn't that a great comfort that we're not alone? He promised in his word and he had the authority to make that promise that we would never be alone, that he would give us the Holy Spirit to be with us even to the end of the age. That means even till the end of all time, the Holy Spirit would remain on earth to be with his people to help us to do God's work, to teach people everywhere about Jesus so that they will trust in him as their Lord and as their Savior. And one day, Jesus will return just as he left to make all things new and to rule over all as Lord. Now that gets me excited.
Okay, guys, this is the last week of our Bible verse from John eleven twenty five. It says, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. So next week, we'll be starting a new verse. Keep practicing. So Pastor Steve isn't here this time. So I thought that I would just give, um, just talk a little bit about the story that you heard today when Jesus met his disciples on top of the mountain. And I think the most, one of the most important parts of this story is what we call the Great Commission. When Jesus told his disciples, of course, how much he loved them, but also told them to go and spread the good news of Jesus's resurrection, that he is still alive. And so to me, that's the most important part of this story. And it tells me and reminds me that we are all called as believers in Jesus. We are all called to tell his story to the world because Jesus wants us to tell about his life and to tell about how wonderful God is. And Jesus doesn't just tell us to go on our own. Um, but he, he told the disciples then on that day, and he tells us in his, in his word that he gives us the Holy Spirit to help us because we would probably mess it up big time if we just did it on our own. So he also said that he is always with us and will go before us and go with us. So that's a very comforting thought to know that we don't have to do it alone and we can have the courage to live our lives differently from the rest of the world. And wherever we go, we can tell others about how wonderful Jesus is and how much God loves us and loves them. So remember that about this story, um, to share God's love and the story of Jesus with everyone that you meet. And I don't really have a good word like Pastor Steve does, but um, I can say a prayer for us to end our uh, video today. So let's pray. Father, we thank you, first of all, for your wonderful love that we don't deserve. But you give us that love unconditionally. No matter what we do, your love is never taken away from us. Thank you for this story in your true word, the Bible, that gives us a mission to go out into the world and tell everyone we meet about your son, Jesus, and about what he did for all people who believe in him. And so we ask you for that courage. We know that you've given us the Holy Spirit to help us. And we know that Jesus is with us always. And we, therefore, we can do this. We can do what you've called us to do. Thank you for this day and each day that you give us. And I pray that we would all live our lives in such a way that shows how much we love you, Father. And we thank you and we pray all in your son's holy and precious name, Jesus Christ. Amen. I hope you all have a great week. And hopefully Pastor Steve will be back next week so you don't have to keep seeing me. Um, so have a great week and we'll see you again next time. Bye.